investigation into the State Department email matter is going to be handled like any other matter. We've got career agents and lawyers looking at that. They will follow the facts and follow the evidence wherever it leads and come to a conclusion. So does this create a conflict of interest for you? No, this is not a conflict for me or for the department or for anyone. There you have the answer. Attorney General Loretta Lynch giving her stamp of approval saying the FBI's investigation of the server has not been compromised despite President Obama's endorsement of Hillary Clinton's candidacy. This is very unusual. Judge Anna Napolitano, our Fox News senior judicial analyst, with me in studio. Good day to you. Good morning. I answer the same question that Wallace asked. Is this a conflict of interest? When or she not? says that we have career agents and career lawyers investigating her, she's correct. They have the, the best of two teams investigating her. That's not the point. The point is at some point their investigations will end, the evidence will be on her desk, and she who has been appointed twice by President Obama, wants to be the U.S. Attorney here in New York City, in Brooklyn, and wants to be Attorney General of the United States, will have to decide whether the person President Obama wants to succeed him will become a defendant in a criminal case. If she says yes, the evidence to indict and the evidence to convict that is publicly known is overwhelming. Does she have a conflict? It's hard to believe she hasn't addressed this with the president. They both have really they, she hard, told, hard to believe. She told Chris Wallace that she and the president have not discussed this. That's she gets right. daily reports on the progress of these two investigations against Mrs. Clinton, public corruption and espionage. It's almost inconceivable that she has not kept the White House abreast of what her FBI okay, agents now, are finding. Wallace asked her that question, and this is how she answered that specifically. We've never discussed the Clinton case. Uh, I've never spoken about it with the president or really with anyone at the White House. That's not uh, the kind of relationship that I have with people there, and it would be inappropriate to do so. I, I, Certainly would be inappropriate, but I, you're suggesting otherwise. I, I do not know what her relationship is uh, with the White House, but I would think that the president would want to know the gravity of evidence that the FBI is accumulating because he himself will have a conflict. He is the chief law enforcement officer of the land. He knows Mrs. Clinton is in the crosshairs of the FBI for two very serious criminal investigations. He wants Mrs. Clinton to succeed him. And he, Bill, emailed four of the top secret emails wow. to Mrs. Clinton so you're, at her Clinton So you're suggesting server. she's not say, telling the truth? I'm suggesting that she doesn't want to confront the uh, obvious, which is they must have talked about it and they have to decide sooner or later which way they're going to go. The investigation on the emails is over with the exception of the interview of Mrs. Clinton herself. Wow. It okay. will take place before the Democrats meet in Philly. Uh, Phil, the third week of July. Then, then if your suggestion then is that he's asked her whether or not he should get behind her candidacy. She may very well have said, right. I don't want to talk about this because I've got to give you a professional recommendation. She may have said that, which is the implication she's given Chris Wallace. But to suggest there's no communication going on is, is a head scratcher. Wow. Judge, thank you. You're